And that, my friends, is why I do not want Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. Um, I really believe Liverpool could, could do something. But approach is very key. Real Madrid have the excellent approach. My assumption was Real Madrid would be on the defensive and Liverpool will now dictate the game. And it would be like, uh, can Liverpool get those early goals? And how dangerous can Real be on the counter? What I didn't expect is for Real Madrid to put Liverpool in a freaking diaper and pimp slap them for 90 minutes, which is what they freaking did. Kamavinga was the best player on the pitch. Kamavinga was absolutely outstanding. Cruz was great. He was so free, so was superb. Vinny, Vinny gave birth to a lovely baby boy called Trent Alexander, whose name might not actually be Trent Alexander Vinny. <laughs> His name might actually be Trent Alexander Vinny Jr. Um, but Kamavinga was just outstanding. I mean, because I always say that when guys are very one-footed, I'm like, I'm not a fan of having very one-footed players specifically, less footed one for the players in midfield because i just feel if you're central midfield you need like a 360 degree of movement but what really um shocked me about kamavinga was just how good he was and how comfortable he was and how dynamic he was on the ball like his dynamism on the ball was just absolutely freaking out outstanding it was absolutely outstanding just his decision making his first touch his technique his intelligence his just just the complete flair and just um the technique the testing that he had was amazing but real madrid's performance as a team nacho needs to be given credit bro they call nacho the utility man this guy always does a damn good quality solid job there are very few players right in the world that are as um multi-positional who can do a good seven eight out of ten performance in so several positions so Ganacho is an extremely useful player to have but for liverpool man i mean salah's revenge continues maybe fourth time lucky for salah but for liverpool i just think they were out outclassed they are totally outclassed this should have been this should have been four or five like the first leg should have been six or seven this should have been four or five because real madrid missed so many chances so many freaking chances and i just think that for liverpool they got well and truly devoured they got well and truly devoured by real madrid so liverpool like Liverpool cannot have any complaints. You just got totally, absolutely skewered by just the superior team. And for Liverpool, man, so, sorry, for Real Madrid, I mean, they, they won it. I don't think they win La Liga, which is scary for everyone else because Real Madrid are now going all in, fully in for this UCL. And I don't want these dudes, man. Hit that subscribe button over there, guys. Subscribe to the Football Hot. And I'll see you guys tonight for that live reaction and looking ahead to the quarters. I don't want Madrid. I don't want Madrid.